In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to do a forward knot friendship bracelet. The materials you'll be using are a center string about 30 inches long and two different color strings about 60 to 70 inches long. The longer the better, you could always cut it short. Tape and a clip. Now let's take our center string, which is our shortest string, and let's put the two ends together and fold that string in half. Now you have your center string ready to go. Now take the next string, the long string, put the two ends together. You want them to be matched up and go ahead and fold that in half. Now take the next color long string and again, do the same thing. Put the two ends together and fold it in half. Make sure the two, two ends are perfectly together. All right, so now we have our three strings folded in half. So what you're gonna do now is take a loop for each one, match up the loops together. So you should have three matching loop, including the center string, which is the short string. Make sure that you put all three loops together. Once your three loops are perfectly together, go ahead and tie a knot. Leave about maybe an inch from the top. You don't wanna to use too much because you wanna be able to have enough space to do your string and your bracelet is going to require a lot of string. Now take your loop. We're gonna separate the strings and you're going to then go ahead and clip it to the top of your board. I like to use a board, I tape it often, but when I do tape it, it seems to come apart because I pull hard. So I use, like to do the clip. Clip it above the knot, not below the knot. Then separate your strings, and this is where I do use the tape. I tape down my center string. When taping down my center string, put it as close to the bottom. I go ahead and I fold up the bottom of that string back up and I put another tape on it. This is to hold it in place better because like I said, I pull a lot on my string, so it does have a tendency of pulling the tape off. So I double tape it like this and it seems to hold pretty well. Now I'm gonna take my string and I'm going to do what they called a forward knot and it, I'm going to put my string over my center string, then underneath the center string through the loop and pull nice and tight together. I'm gonna do the same thing on the same exact side. Make a four over the center string, bring the string underneath the center string, pull nice and snug to the top and bring your string back. And I'm gonna keep repeating this. I'm gonna go ahead and make a four, put it over my center, then under my string center through the hoop now I'm gonna take my second string, put it over the center and under the center string through the hoop and pull nice and snug. I'm gonna repeat this over and over. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over the center, underneath the center and through the hoop. And I will continue to repeat this. Now at the beginning, you're not gonna to notice too much of a difference. You're just repeating the process. Always do the forward knot going forward in one direction with both strings. And you're gonna go over, under, through the loop, and pull, and keep it nice and snug next to each other. You'll become pretty fast at this as you go along. Now they will begin to twist, but you're not gonna see it right away. But when you're, one of your string wants to go underneath the center string and the other wants to go to the other side, you kind of let it go and do that. So right now, they seem to be fine, but I'm already starting to notice that my green string wants to go underneath my center string. So I'll probably go ahead and do a couple more forward knot. And then I will probably go ahead and bring it over. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it underneath my center string. And that's the best way to do it, bring it underneath your center string. But continue to do the forward knot over the center string, under the center string, and through the loop. 
Now I have my blue on this side. So, but he's gonna continue doing the forward knot over my center string, underneath my center string, through the loop. And you'll start noticing the twist, but it takes a, you know quite a few little knots before you do that. Over my center string, underneath my center string, and through the loop. It will naturally make its own twist. And again, once it starts to twist quite a bit, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put a string that's twisting underneath the center string. So I'm gonna keep doing this. It's the same pattern over and over again. And then eventually I will go ahead and bring it underneath. So see, now it's gonna, it's starting to pull underneath, but I'll do it one more time. Make sure your strings are always snug. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring my blue one underneath, but I will continue doing the same thing. Keep the pattern, keep following the same pattern over and over. Forwards, forward uh, knot underneath, through the loop. Now same with the green, forward knot underneath, through the loop. Now, if you notice, my green one naturally, you know, went over to the other side underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them underneath. And then I'm going to do my forward knot. And my blue one went to the other side. So basically what you want to do is not fight where the strings want to go. They will start beginning to twist and you could see the twist already in my string. Sometimes I just go ahead and, you know, guide it in the right direction. Sometimes it just says, I want to go underneath, you know, it starts to pull underneath and that's fine too. After a few times where I feel like it's ready to go underneath, I'll go ahead and pull underneath and other times it just naturally starts to pull underneath. But you'll, as you do this, you'll start to, you know, notice the pattern with it. You'll start to see how it's acting and you'll want to follow the way the string is acting and you will continue to get those nice, beautiful twists on your strings. As you continue working on your bracelet, you'll start to see how the two colors will twist together and form the twisting part of the bracelet. Now I'm near the end, I'm going to give it maybe one or two more forward knot before finishing this off. Once I have done that, I'll then take the two color long pieces and tie them together. Now take the center string and cut them about the same length as the other strings. Now after you're done cutting the center string about the same length, take the center string and tie it to the two color strings that you use to make your bracelets. We've now completed our forward string friendship bracelet. Look how beautiful the way the colors twist around the bracelet. You could make this in all different color combinations and every single one will always be just as beautiful. So now it's time to either wear it, share it with a friend or share it with a family member. These are one of my favorite types of friendship bracelets. I just love the way the colors twist around the bracelet. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a like down below and subscribe to see more video demonstrations by Art Connection.